The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Doralk's Canadian designed and built boats are showing up in more ports here in the USA. Doralk continues to add to its designs and incorporate more features into these beautiful entertainment and pleasure platforms. Doralk built the Metaterra with the specific goal of utilizing the awesome power and control of Volvo's IPS drive system. This new design offers more control making it easier to maneuver in just about all conditions. Now we've had some fun running the Metaterra. Let's take you on a virtual tour. If you followed along with us on the Alegria, you'll find the Metaterra has a lot of the same amenities and features, but on a slightly smaller scale. Let's start our walk through right back here on the swim platform. The integral swim platform blends neatly into the lines of this boat and the center walkthrough makes it a simple task to get on or off. In the stern, our test unit has a stereo remote, platform storage, and port storage trunk with water connections for the wash down. The concealed swim ladder has a large door in the center of the platform over the four-step deep reach ladder. Continuing to starboard is a matching platform locker, which also can be removed for greater engine access for major repairs. In the stern wall trunk, all power connections are neatly led in to dry connections. The center walkthrough is a spacious bifold door with magnetic catches. Once through the door, the entire cockpit is on the same level with no steps to stumble over. Seating here nearly encircles the aft cockpit. The starboard section has room for a table which is removable, converting this area into a large sunbed. A cockpit wet bar with optional cooktop is the center of attention on the port side. This one has a stainless steel sink with solid countertop, optional electric cooktop, U-line cockpit ice maker, and Norcold cockpit refrigerator. The sole of the aft cockpit virtually yawns open with the push of a switch to reveal the twin Volvo IPS 500 engines and drives. This system leaves excellent room for tanks, heaters, and generators with room to do routine and light maintenance around the engines. The navigator station has acrylic covered chart box with large glove box underneath. The helm seat is a triple wide bench with driver's bolster for comfortable stand up driving. The tilt wheel is elegant mahogany with stainless steel and leather for an extra plush look. The clarion stereo is mounted below the drink holders to port with an MP3 jack between them for convenience. Above the drink holders is one of two Raymarine E120 navigation displays which were outfitted on this test boat. Above the E120 is a Volvo engine management display. Rocker switches are conveniently grouped next to the wheel on the left and the VHF radio has been mounted just below. The optional joystick drive system is mounted on the far right with the Volvo throttle and shift system just behind. Our test model had the optional full hardtop for maximum protection. This also gives you plenty of room to mount the remote spotlight, radar dome, and antennas. The walkway to the bow is somewhat narrow, but it does have sturdy stainless grab rails, so making your way forward should be an easy task. The broad bow can be outfitted with twin teak loungers if you choose for added relaxation. A teak seat fitted in the bow pulpit and a neat place to hang out. The gull wing anchor locker cover reveals a handheld remote for the windlass inside along with a wash down and two vertical storage lockers for fenders and the windlass. Now besides the comfortable room we have topside for a lot of people to sit around and talk or enjoy a sunset, we've got plenty of room down below. Steps into the cabin have rubber treads for sure footing and handy vertical grab bar for safety. The galley's on the port side just inside the cabin. The galley features beautiful wood cabinets, a stainless coffee maker, microwave convection oven, solid countertop with stainless sink, and concealed two burner cooktop. Below the counter our test model was fitted with a Nova Cool side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer. The lounge is semi-circular with a solid wood table and optional teak floor accents. The table can be lowered to convert this into another berth for guests. The Clarion DVD player and accessory 12 volt socket are in the aft wall just above the lounger. The wood cabinets here house a Clarion stereo and 6 CD changer. The vanity in the head is decadent with green glass raised bowl and solid countertop. As you enter the mid cabin, the starboard wall has cabinets for three drawers and hanging storage. Our test boat was equipped with a sharp LCD TV back here and the large double berth keeps this space from feeling claustrophobic. I really like the space saving pocket door that Doral uses on the Mediterra. Now come on inside, let's take a look at the master stateroom. A handy makeup station on the port wall has a mirror, table and storage. Additional compartments are above the island berth along with portals and reading lights. The sharp LCD TV is mounted on the starboard side for your personal entertainment. Now this berth has the decadent feature, a power lift head for comfortable nighttime reading or movies.
The Mediterra measures 40 feet length overall or 12.2 meters and has a beam of 13 feet 3 inches or 4.05 meters. She weighs in at 25,000 pounds or 11,363 kilos. With twin 370 horsepower Volvo Penta IPS 500 diesel inboards, the Mediterra proved to be easy to maneuver. Top speed was 40 miles per hour at 3610 RPM, giving us 0.53 miles per gallon. Best cruise was at 30.3 miles per hour at 3000 RPM, giving us 0.63 miles per gallon or 165 miles on a full tank of fuel. Whether out for a weekend or a week, the Mediterra from Doral has the space and the amenities. You can have all your friends topside with you or even down below. Take a look at the Mediterra from Doral.